So the first mistake I notice most people do is they, they tend to follow the crowd. You know, like when you go to the market, you know, when you see this big huge crowd going there, say, hey, what is on sale right now? Then I want to tag along behind. Well, that kind of happens in the, in the investment world as well. Some of you guys get overexcited because you see the news flash out that, you know, tons of people are going into it. Maybe you listen to your friends or in your chats and a lot of people are starting to buy certain things and then you want to follow them. I don't think that's the best thing that you want to do. My advice to many people is this, always research to time the best time to go into the market. Never do it based on crowd expectations or crowd excitement. That's the one way that you can guarantee almost a loss. Why people don't make money when they invest? So point number two is this, knowing when to get out. Right, investment is like baking a cake. Leave it too long into the market or at the wrong time and you just might get it burnt. You might get burnt in the market if you don't know how to get out in time. Now, I want to share about the other part as well, taking out your money too soon. So it's also, it's always very exciting when you watch the graphs go up and especially when you don't know what you're doing or you get overly excited, you may pull out that money way too fast and not maximize on the returns. And that's what I want to share with many of you guys right now. Investment is like baking a cake. You have to know the right timing so you can maximize the right. So therefore, when you pull out that money, you make the best returns. So remember, always time your exit, do the research, and if you do it well, you get the most amount of money. And last but not least, okay, the I know syndrome. I've seen so many newbies over there go out there and say, I know what I'm doing. I know this, I know that. Take that word out of your mouth. All right, take that word out of your mind because I, even for me, I consider myself a student until today. I call myself the stupidest person out there. And why? Because by doing that, I learn from many, many more people. And most of the time, I get some darn good knowledge. I can tell you one thing right now. If you ever want to beat the market, it's always about having the greatest knowledge, accumulating all this as your first asset. Because if you invest into yourself first, I can guarantee you the returns will come from the market tenfold.